Tracy in Amherst, Massachusetts. Thanks for listening to WHMP. What's up? Hey, Tom, how are you? Great. Uh, so I, I had a response to Diana. Um, I just, you know, I, I listen to you every day, and I very rarely feel compelled to call, but I just wanted to say that um, she's basically peddling a very old rags-to-riches fantasy, but that fantasy is only slimly possible if a society isn't calcified based on class. It, you You're know, if there's right. no social mobility, then people can't become a Bill Gates. It's not possible. And, and, and in the know, era from the 1950s to the 1980s, we were the most socially mobile country in the world, and now... We are, of the 34 richest countries in the world, we are number two from the bottom. Right. Right. And, and that story she's peddling doesn't account for that at all. It's like she's got it exactly backwards. Yeah, excellent. And, of course, you know, she's, she's turning around and saying that you're jealous, but what she's doing is apologizing and deflecting because she's pointing to these, you know, isolated cases and turning around and saying, oh, you can all be like them instead of, the, you know, the people born on third base who say that they hit a, you know, they hit a home run. Yeah, I think suggesting that I'm being emotional, which, you know, jealousy is an emotion that, that you know, uh, I'm somehow, you know, oh, you know, putting my hand to my forehead and, and wailing uh, or, or jealous or what, you know, whatever that looks like. Um, it just indicates the weakness of the argument. Tracy, thank you for the call. And thanks for listening to WHMP. Great, great point.